Welcome back to Switch Stars, my name's Luke, and if you've seen my recent video on the emergence of a potential new eShop scammer, then you'll have heard about today's review, that being the debut title from publisher Game to Top Corp, Tow Truck Driver Simulator 2023. Now I've played quite a few of these simulator games on the Switch and none of them have really been that great, but going by the track record of publishers like Midnight Works, who I might add may very well be Game to Top Corp in disguise, my expectations for this one were tailored to say the least. But let's get into it and see what's what, and be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Switch content. So the main menu for Tow Truck Sim 2023 presents us with a very mobile looking layout, complete with ranks to work towards, currency to earn, and a series of scrolling deals which slash the prices of some of the in-game purchases. The game features a tuning shop where we can customise our truck, though despite what the eShop description claims, you can't actually personalise your truck with enhancements like lamps, bumpers, horns and cockpit lights, and the only thing you can actually do is change its colour, which I opted for my usual hot pink, and swap out the rims, and I wanted these Captain America ones but couldn't afford them, so instead I went with some savage looking spiked ones. There's also an upgrade menu where you can upgrade shit such as your engine, tyres, turbo and transmission, with each subsequent upgrade costing more and only increasing your stats by a pixie's cock of an amount. And finally there is the vehicle shop which actually has a fair bit of content. Amongst the trucks you'll find both lightweight and heavy versions, all of which look pretty decent in the menu at least. There are also SUV trucks, or pickup trucks as I like to call them, and finally a bunch of different trailers, and we'll get onto how all of these affect gameplay later, but the menu itself is pretty shit to navigate. Now heading in to play the game, you first need to play through some of the tutorial stages to unlock additional modes, and these walk you through the game's basic mechanics. But dropping into the game, I was actually pleasantly surprised as the visuals aren't all that bad despite them being clearly inferior to the eShop ones, and the UI is relatively clean with a fully functional map in the top corner. Our first tutorial mission though requires us to pick up a nearby car by first driving into the green area ahead of us and then hopping out of our truck. We play as this generic Sims looking character who runs around like he shat himself, but after lowering the ramp with a push of the X button, we can then jump behind the wheel of the supposed broke down vehicle and with a little difficulty drive it up onto the ramp, which we can then raise and be on our merry way. Following this, we're instructed to drive across city and deliver the vehicle to the repair shop, but what's immediately apparent is that the physics in this one are absolutely fucked, as our truck wobbles back and forth as though our suspension is made out of jelly, and this is only the beginning, but more on the physics shortly. Another point to note is with those visuals, as the entire city appears to be populated by driverless vehicles with an unhealthy fetish for chrome. You have chrome plated taxis, chrome plated fire engines, and even chrome plated fire hydrants. But the city itself is also incredibly small, and our journey to the garage takes all of two minutes. Now, upon completing the tutorial, we're then rewarded with a bit of cash and experience and can move on to the next one. And each of these tutorials guides us through a different vehicle type, some of them being rigid vehicles, whilst others have us hooking up a trailer but the process is the same every time. Drive to a broken down vehicle, drop the ramps, load up the vehicle onto the trailer, and then transport it to the garage. Variety wise, you have trailers large and small, and several vehicles with winches on the back of them, and the vehicles you collect range from standard cars and Land Rovers, chrome plated of course, to industrial diggers and the likes. But back to those physics for a moment, because did I mention, they're absolutely fucked. Dragging a trailer around has you skidding around like a bastard as though you're driving on ice, whilst using the pickup truck to hitch up a car has it flailing around all over the fucking place, and if it wasn't broken to start with, it certainly is now. Vehicles will also often get stuck on curbs or wedged between driverless vehicles, requiring you to restart the entire level over, but it seems like overall there's been no effort to make things feel realistic or smooth for that matter, and authentic mechanics go right out the window, so more eShop bullshit right there. 
Once you're done with a few tutorial missions though, you'll then unlock some additional game modes starting with the free playing SUV truck modes. Now the SUV truck modes are your basic pickup truck formula of hitching them up and dragging them to the garage and you can play through a series of these with each of them rewarding you with more cash and experience. Free play mode on the other hand has you first selecting from two different cities before accepting a mission from a job station and this is where the ranks and vehicle types come into play. Depending on what vehicle you have selected determines what kind of jobs you have on offer and your rank determines which of these you can actually accept. The problem here is that in the first city, which is the one that you've already seen, every single mission starts and ends at the same location and once you drop off a vehicle you can then choose to continue, but then you have to manually drive back to the start point, so you may as well just hit restart. The second city is a little better, offering several different job stations and endpoints, but it's also microscopic, taking about a minute to drive between its furthest points, so if you're wanting some quick cash you may as well just stick to the first city. From what I've seen though, the rank system only goes up to level 5, so the maximum you're earning from these is about 5 grand, and while additional trailer types might unlock higher ranks which offer more cash, they all cost a fortune and even when you do unlock them, you're still going to be driving the same routes over and over. Now the game's final game mode is career mode and like SUV mode, this one has you playing through a series of missions, each rewarding more cash and XP than the last and I expect that you'll also progress through different truck types in this one. But at the end of the day, it's still the same old shit. Drive to a vehicle, pick it up, drop it off, Rinse and repeat ad nauseum. So yeah, that is Tow Truck Driver Simulator 2023 in a nutshell. A monotonous merry-go-round of trailer dropping and truck tipping, and despite my complaints about the physics, they actually turned out to be the most entertaining thing in it. While the game is nowhere near as bad as some of the other scam games, it's still a shallow piece of shite and that eShop description is still packed full of bollocks to make it seem way better than it actually is. But as is the case with some of the other scams that I've reviewed, it had the potential to be so much better, and all they had to do was scale up the cities, fix up the physics and sprinkle on a little creativity to give us some interesting and challenging scenarios to deal with, but they didn't. They just slapped it together and shat it out onto the eShop, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if the game actually turned out to be an asset flip of a mobile game given the menu system, the in-game UI and the limited amount of content on offer. Now Game to Top Corp also has another game coming out which looks absolutely atrocious, some sort of skateboarding game where you drift about a skate park with memes strapped to your board, and this will no doubt turn out to be as shite as it looks, but I'll probably have a review out for that one at some point in the near future. For now though, I do hope this review helped you out, and if it did drop a like to show your appreciation, check out my scam games playlist for more like it, and subscribe to the channel for more Nintendo Switch content. Until next time though, thanks once again for watching, take care of yourselves and game on.